I loved her in Technicolor. I loved her in big and heavy waves that washed over me and left me in a boyish drunken stupor. Falling over myself at every turn and cherishing the purples, then the browns, then the yellows. Of the funny bumps and bruises on my knees. She bandaged and kissed them better for me when it suited her. But when it didn't, she'd take her love to where it hurt. She loved me in black and white. I was good and evil. And when I was good, I was rainbows and electric smiles. A magnet melted charmer. Blowing heavy kisses to a tungsten tongue counterpart. She made me paper promises, like origami swans and cranes, and perched them on my crown with a wet hand. And in an instant, I was evil. And she'd light the paper animals and watch the sparks dance upon my head and make me stamp the paper promises to save the birds from death. And inside was black again. And all my talk of technicolor love was reflected in her black and white eyes. And my spectrum was reduced to shades of grey until I didn't want to be rainbow, rainbow, rainbow anymore. So who writes the unwritten rules that so many of us follow blindly into the blissful abyss of ignorance? Because to be honest, I would like nothing more than to follow these rules. Cast aside these feelings to the wayside as pointless and irrelevant. Bury these feelings under a comfortable blanket of social normality and dive no deeper into my thoughts or actions than the depth of a can of Dutch gold or a dwindling hairy pouch of amber leaf. But I think, and I think, and I think too much, and fail to follow closely enough the well-intended advice of friends who don't fully believe what they're saying themselves. So should I honestly believe that one day things might not be different? Or be content in the notion that people never change? Or should I cease to class myself as people? And change myself to something new?
From time to time, I think of the days I took you out the galleries <coughs> and pretended like I knew something in some way meaningful about the works <coughs> in an attempt to prove my worth to you. <coughs> you were the true art I admired that day. <coughs> I remember being happy. I remember being truly happy to be truly with you in that moment to be whole with you what a feeling pride is pride on what I had done pride on what I had achieved how had I managed to wrangle you into my arms so so tight I told you late nights getting lost in your hair. Tight so not to let you go. Not too tight that I might murder you. I remember squeezing you so close. As if I thought I could truly pass you through my porous flesh. And hold you safe within me. Entombed. Pregnant with your being. Engulfed in my presence the way I was engulfed in yours. Every second, every minute, millisecond, entranced by our being. Maybe then you'd know the depths of my endearment. So when people ask me how I've been, and I say better, it's true. I am better. I've been better, I've been worse. Better than I was. Possibly better than I will be. Because I can't say that I won't once more find a nest of tangled hair to lose my face in. Late nights talking softly of nothing really in particular. And peer over the body to the amber flicker of the street lights. And pretend like I'm not so in awe in the wake of the dance we've just performed and wipe that boyish grin from my face. Pure cheeky. The cat who got the milk. And once again lend my heart to you to hold for a while. Until I decide once more that lending hearts is a foolish activity. Not to be trifled with. Not to be sniffed at. Not to be done, no, no, not today, so because I'm still trying to wipe stains from my cardiac walls from the last time you dropped my heart to hold the hand of another. Out, Stan. Out. 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 That's the thing about stains. They stand. What is a stain that can be washed out but a blemish? Weak and puny blemish. Existing for but a second then surrender to the u bend. The stain and all its impunity. Impurity. Improperty. Perfectly stubborn. Relentlessly present. Infinite existence. Infinitely overstayed. Stains are not washed out. They are forgotten and remembered. Regretted and recounted. You stain me true and true. Out stain. Out. 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 Out.